Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is Joseph here back from the LEGO Star Wars video here today. And today guys, we're going to continue our Clone Wars season ideas. Today we have season 6, so remember, designs in this video are not mine. Let's get right into it, shall we? And before I get into today's video, I do want to give a quick reminder that at 2,000 subscribers, I'm giving away free LEGO Star Wars. I'm going to be giving away the new Summer 2021 Slave 1 with Boba Fett and Beskar Mando. It's a $50 set that you'll be winning for free, and all you have to do to enter is to be subscribed to my channel to enter, so pretty easy, right? And if you want to double your chances to win, you can follow me on Instagram at jhamlin14 and DM me saying that you're in the giveaway. The link to my Instagram is also in the description of today's video. Anyways, though, guys, getting into our first Season 6 ID here, I decided to go early on with the Betrayal scene here, which is basically kind of like a almost small battle pack kind of duelish mix set here where we have the two jedi masters tiplar and tipley top fives and then a battle droid or two i imagine have a couple of little side builds like some crates or something like that it's basically just a set to recapture the scene where tup basically kills one of the jedi masters right accidentally i guess because his chip like fires prematurely and just that's really what i wanted to do with this set here just a set to capture that scene and you know be a good way to get some nice minifigures like the two jedi top fives and some battle droids right so that was my idea here the next idea I had here was to go to the Scipio arc where we see Rush, Clovis, and Padme. This set is really just kind of a big, like, battle set. I imagine that we could have this gunship here along with some couple of side builds, maybe a little droid speeder or droid vehicle as well. It's really just kind of like a, like I said, big battle set for Scipio. It's going to have Commander Thorne, a few shock troopers, some pilots, some super battle droids, some commando droids, and then the uh, shock trooper gunship there, which is a really sick gunship as well. Overall, just kind of a big battle set for Scipio. That was kind of my idea with this set here. This next set I have here is kind of like a expanded dual set because it's basically, you know, the basic, basic premise of the set is a dual set. Obviously, on the end of Season 6, we see Yoda go on a little journey to kind of find himself spiritually. And in this journey, he duels himself, at least a dark side version of himself. So I kind of wanted a set to recreate that, I guess, in LEGO. And basically, we'd have a good Yoda and a dark Yoda. But also, I kind of wanted to get the Force Priestesses involved. So maybe I'd have all five of them or at least a couple of them in the set just kind of in the background or somewhere else around the scenery. Um, but yeah, really just a dual set here. Anyways, going back to Scipio, the next set I had here is called Mission to Scipio. It's basically just a big Republic frigate set with a couple of nice minifigures here and there. Obviously, you get the frigate, three shock troopers, Rush Close and Padme Mandala. Maybe you could also include Anakin or Commander Thorne or one of Padme's handmaidens just something like that, right? At least some flexibility here and there. But ultimately, this the main premise of the set would be to get, you know, minifigures like Rush Close and Padme and a new Republic frigate. The next set idea I have here is called Hunt for Tup, and it's basically just Fives looking for information on Tup and to find out what's going on with him. Obviously, you include Fives. Maybe you could also include AZI. You could also have some Camino security troopers, a couple of them, and then the Camino security commander guy, along with Nalase, maybe, or some other Kaminoan, right? And for the build, I imagine you could really do anything, you know, Camino related It doesn't have to be, like, the clone, like, baby orb things or whatever, the facilities, you know, you know it doesn't have to be that. It could be a computer center or something like that. Really anything would work for a Camino build, just something that is, you know, related to Camino, I think would be nice for a set like this. The next set I have is kind of like a 501st Battle Pack type set, except it's kind of not. For this set, it's called the Battle on Ringo Vinda. And uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory as well. You're going to have Commander Doom, three of his troopers, and then a couple of battle droids here. Although this set is kind of Battle Pack oriented, I kind of, you know, was thinking maybe in this set you could have a couple of decent, you know, decent, you know, size builds on the side as well, because, you know, obviously in a battle pack, you don't want to get Commander Doom like 50 times if you try an army build. So for this set, it would be very similar to a battle pack, but have a little bit of differences to where it's kind of also like a normal set. But really the main premise of the set is just to get those nice minifigures. Anyways, the next set idea I had here was the Republic Medical Shuttle, and obviously you get the shuttle along with the clone escort that's supposed to be protecting Tup. They do fail, but in this set, that's not going to be the case. It's just going to be the shuttle, I guess. It obviously will have some of the medical markings and stuff, and you get a couple of pilots, three Pebble First Troopers, and Tup as well, who will be strapped in like his medical bed, right, and being prepared to be escorted to Kamino. Pretty cool set, in my opinion. We don't really get any Republic attack shuttles often. In fact, you've never gotten like a medical one or anything like this, so it would be a pretty neat set to have. Anyways, going back to some more dual sets, whenever Yoda goes on his little journey to find himself spiritually, he has some, I guess, dreams or nightmares or visions, I guess you could say, of like foreshadowed events like Order 66, and basically just duels between Palpatine, Count Dooku, him, and Anakin, right? So for this one, I decided to call this the foreshadowed duel, and basically it takes place on Coruscant and Yoda's vision, and it's basically just Anakin and Yoda versus Palpatine and Dooku, and uh, yeah, that's really the main premise of the set. You could include a few 501st Troopers or Captain Rex in this as well, but really, I kind of wanted to focus just on the dual aspect. So these four minifigures with a couple of side builds, and I think this would be a pretty sick set. 
The final set idea for today's video is going to be called the Hunt for Sifo Dias. In another arc in this season, we get to see Anakin, Obi Wan, and Yoda hunt for Sifo Dias, and obviously we see a little bit of another dual set here, really, where we get Count Dooku versus Anakin and Obi Wan. Also, this takes place on the Pike planet. I kind of forget what it's called, but I also decided to include a couple of Pikes in this set, like Long Pike and a Pike Warrior. It'd be a pretty unique set for minifigures, just because of the Pikes, and it could have some cool scenery as well, and just would really enhance the dual set. I feel like. Anyways, moving on to the best minifig for Season 6 that would be neat to have. Obviously, it's going to be very clone heavy. We've got Commander Thorne, Commander Doom, and one of Doom's troopers. These guys are obviously very sick. We've never had them made before, so to get these guys would be amazing. The next section of today's video is just going to be called Direct Remix. This is basically where I talk about sets that LEGO has already made about Season 6 and talk about the best ones that I think would be cool to have remade if we were to get some more Season 6 sets. So let's get right into it. Unfortunately, for Season 6 of the Clone Wars, LEGO really only made one set that was based upon it, and it was Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. This obviously really is just a set that takes place during the beginning of Yoda's journey to find himself spiritually right in that kind of last arc of the Clone Wars. And uh, it's a good set, in my opinion, and it's the only set, you know, option for a remake. So I guess if I had to choose any set, I would choose this one. But really, I don't feel like, you know, it's time for a remake of this set yet. I feel like we could wait a little bit longer, you know, maybe a few more years after 2022. But still, I guess if there was a set, it would have to be this one. Anyways, though, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. So please make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of today's video, the ideas, what you could see in 2022, all that good stuff. And as always, I'll see you all next time, my friends. Have a good one.